We are deep into primary season for this 2024 election, and several MAGA freak show candidates have emerged, and they're trying to be the GOP nominee for their district's U.S. House seat. Some of these right-wing lunatics are even nuttier than Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Boebert. Yeah, I know, it's hard to believe. Let's start with West Virginia Republican congressional candidate Derek Evans. Evans was previously a member of the West Virginia House of Delegates. Why are you so controversial? Well, because I'm an outspoken uh, MAGA Trump supporter. Quite frankly, I'm, I'm considered controversial because uh, I'm the only elected legislator in the entire country. And when I say that, think about everyone who ran in 2020, ran across the country as they were MAGA, as they were patriots, as they were Trump supporters. When it came time to stand with President Trump on January 6th. You heard him correctly. Evans participated in the January 6th rally and attacked the Capitol. During the riot, video cameras recorded Evans trying to breach the building and shouting Donald Trump's name. After Evans cleared a fence and went into the Capitol, he recorded himself shouting, We're in! We're in! Derek Evans is in the Capitol! Keep it moving, baby! Our house! Soon after the riot, law enforcement authorities identified and arrested Evans and charged him with trespassing. The deep state came to my house, ripped me away from my family, threw me in prison, held me hostage. And uh, as soon as I got out, I put out a video, I put out a statement and said, you can throw me in prison. You can throw me in solitary confinement. You can drag my name through the mud, but it doesn't change the facts. You guys stole the election. And uh, the real insurrection occurred on November 3rd, 2020. So we all know that the deep state and the uh, fake news media, they do not like uh, outspoken conservatives with backbone. Most rational people also don't like insurrectionists. A few months after his initial arrest and charge, Evans was hit with a five-count felony indictment. He eventually pleaded guilty to a felony charge of civil disorder and was sentenced to 90 days in jail. When he got out, Evans renounced his previous admissions of guilt and claimed to be a victim of political persecution. Ironically, a few years ago, Evans was known in West Virginia for stalking people who were going into abortion clinics. He also referred to state lawmakers who supported LGBTQ rights as satanic. The West Virginia primary is in May. Meanwhile, in South Carolina, the GOP primary for House candidates is in June, and MAGA pastor Mark Burns is making a third consecutive run. He lost in 2018 and 2020, but has now switched districts. Burns is a conspiracy theorist and overt Christian nationalist. And Burns has spoken in violent terms against the LGBTQ community and their supporters. The LGBT transgender grooming our children's minds is a national security threat because it is ultimately designed to destabilize the republic we call the United States of America. That's why when I'm elected, I don't want to just vote. I want to start holding people accountable for treason. We need to hold people for treason, start having some public hearings, and start executing people who are found guilty for their treasonous acts against the Constitution of the United States of America, just like they did back in 1776. Actually, that's not quite what the revolutionaries did in 1776, but you get the point. Congressional candidate Burns wants to execute LGBTQ people for committing treason. Oh, and by the way, Burns has secured the endorsement of Donald Trump, which is especially ironic given that Trump's January 6th actions are close to, if not actual, treason, as opposed to sexual and gender preferences, which most people would say are not a threat to America. But there you have it. The MAGA morons are in full blossom this primary season. And the next several weeks will reveal a lot about the craziness of the Republican Party, even at the level of House GOP primary voters. We'd like to think that most GOP primary voters will recognize that candidates like Mark Burns in South Carolina and Derek Evans in West Virginia are too extreme and hateful even for today's Republican Party. But the MAGA grip on Republican politics is fierce, and there seems to be no bottom now for the GOP and the insanity the party produces. By the way, speaking of insanity, the eclipse just revealed MAGA morons across the Trump spectrum. A rare celestial event collides with a policy failure on the ground. The southern border will be directly in the path of totality today when the moon covers the sun for nearly four minutes. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.